Hello guys, this is Dabs and Ishmael. You can actually create a different layout with Layout Grid, just like you would do with Layers. Now let's take a look at something simple created with Layout Grid. So this is a simple page created with Layout Grid and it, as you can see it has different sections and different objects. So this is a full Layout Grid here and each and every object or section here is actually a Layout Grid. Now let's take a look at the final thing in WYSIWYG Web Build. Let me just bring this up here so you can see it. So this is it. As you can see, this is a layout grid. And then each object over here has its own layout grid. Just like this one. And then we come to this section. This is the navigation section, which also has, um, which is a layout grid. And then this section, which is actually empty and also layout grid. And then all this section. So all what you can see here is actually a layout grid. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to build something similar to this let me just move this out here and then open up a new project now first of all the page width is thousand um, that is 1024 so let me just set that here so i'm going to do that that's going to be 1024 i'll go ahead and then hit on ok and then i'm going to start with my first layout grid so let me just come to my two box and then search for the layout grid too so i click on it and then i'll draw in here now, with this particular layout grid, it's actually going to contain an image and then some text object. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the column I have here. So I just have one column. And then I'm going to go ahead and then set padding to the top as well as padding to the bottom. Now, before I came up or arrived at the right padding to use, I had to do a couple of maths. So in this video, I wouldn't go through that process. I'll just go ahead and then enter the padding to the top and then pad into the button which is going to be 70 and then the gutter let me just make this 35 so i'll do this 35 and then i'll go ahead and then hit an okay now i went ahead to set a background um, that is um, image so let me just double click on it and then go to style and then change this to image now i'm going to get a link for the image i'll be using so let me just get that from my other window um, on a different monitor and then I'm going to paste that here so I don't have to go through the process of locating the image. So I'll go ahead and then hit on OK. As you can see, this is the image. Now I set some overlay to the image. Let me just come in here and then change this to image plus overlay. And then I'm going to select the black color. I'll come here and then go to more colors and then change the alpha value to 204. So that's what I used. And then I'll go ahead and then hit on OK and then hit on OK. So as you can see, this image looks a bit darker. Now come back to my lay, uh, my toolbox, I'm going to get a layout grid too, and then I'm going to draw in here. So I'll double click on this, I'll get rid of one of the columns, and then I'm going to hit on OK. Now I'm going to get a text which I'll be using in there, so let me just copy that from my final project, and then I'll paste that in here. So I'm going to move this into this layout grid, and then I'm going to move this layout grid into this layout grid. So as you can see the image or the layout grid we have in here expands a bit or the image actually inside expands a bit i'll come back to my toolbox and then i'll get a layout grid too i'll double click on it get rid of one of the columns hit on ok i'm going to copy the other text i'll be using i'll paste that in here and then i'll move that into this layout grid and then i move this into this layout grid now this layout grid is going to stay beneath this now you see this spacing in here this is actually the pattern we created and then this is for the top and then this for the bottom let's just take a look at that so this is 274 for this section and then a 70 for the bottom let's just go ahead and hit on console so as you can see we've finished with the first part which has the a background image that has an overlay and then the two text we have in here now let's continue with the navigation so with the navigation back to our toolbox i'll click on the layout grid to double click on it and then i'm going to get rid of one of the columns now i set part into the top which was about let's say five pixels and then to the bottom also which is which is also going to be five pixels now let me get the navigation let me just copy this this is pasting that here this is actually and let's say a responsive navigation so let me just double click on it so you can see so this is a responsive menu I used in here so that is it for the navigation section and then I created an empty um, layout grid here let's see how I went about that so I came to my two box double click on that is select the layout grid then move that here double click on it get rid of one of the columns so that I have just um, 
one empty column here and then i hit an ok now this looks a bit huge but when we preview it it's actually not going to be part of our display so what i did next was to come to the toolbox get a text tool and then i draw in here now we'll click on it and then i got rid of the text in it all i had to do is to move it into this particular layout good as you can see creates an empty space but i'm going to increase the part into the top and then to the bottom a bit so this is going to be five this is also going to be five and then i'll go ahead and i hit on ok next is to create the next section which actually contains the content now this part was very interesting when i was going about it let me show you how i actually did that so to the toolbox let me get my layout good too i'll click on it and then i'm going to draw in here now i needed two columns for this section so this is what i did i double click on this and then i reduced the size of this to this side a bit so i had three x here and then i had nine x here for my layout good and then i increase the padding to the top which was 20 to the top and then to the bottom was also 20. now i need to put maximum width here because this isn't going to be the entire width of our page so this was 1024 and then i go ahead and hit an ok also i'm supposed to do that for this as well but before then let me just preview this so that i take a look at how it is going to be previewed in our browser so let me just preview that so as you can see this text tries to fill the entire width of our page and that isn't what you actually want the same as for our navigation so let's just come back and then change this instead of changing this we are going to change this rather because we want this particular layout get to fill the entire width of our page so we are going to change this we're going to make this 1024 pixels i'm going to repeat it for this that's the maximum width which is also going to be 1024 pixels and then i'm going to do that for the navigation section also so I'll go ahead and I hit an OK. Now let me preview this again in the browser and see how that is going to be. So as you can see, we have our text in the middle. We have our layout grid with the image filling the entire width of our page. And then we have our navigation also in the middle within the 1024 pixels frame. Now let me minimize this and then continue with this section. So I'll make sure I keep this on 1024. And then I'll go ahead and I hit an OK. Now next was to create the sub um, layout grid within this particular layout grid. So I you come to the toolbox click on the layout grid and then i'm going to move that here i'm going to double click on this and then get rid of one of the columns and then i'm going to set part into the top to about let's say five to the bottom also to five and then the gutter i'm going to change this to about 10 and then i go to style and then change the background mode to solid because i'm going to use a test in here which has um a white color so i'll probably need something solid with a different color so i'm going to select black and then i'll go ahead and i hit an okay now i'm going to move this particular layout grid into this layout grid and then i am going to get a text i'll be using inside here so let me just um, come to my toolbox and then let me just get the heading to remove that here let me just before i continue let me just double click on this and get rid of the part into the top i didn't need a part into the top here because it creates some kind of space i want to have my layout grid to hit that that is the top of my layout grid or the page so let me just change this to zero and as you can see it hits the top now i'm going to double click on this and then change the color to white so let me just go to style and then the color of my text is going to be white let me just copy the actual test i used in there let me just type this so this was gallery and then i'll go ahead and I hit an okay let me go ahead and then reduce the height of it a bit and then go ahead and move it into this layout script so that's very important so as you can see it is within this layout script but the size looks a bit small so i might probably want to increase the part into the top to 20. this also to 20 that's to the bottom and then i'll hit an okay so this is okay for me and next is to have another layout script so let me just come to my toolbox get the layout script too I'll click on it and then I'll draw in here and then I'm going to move this into this but before I continue that let me just double click on it and get rid of one of the columns so I'm going to do that and then I'll hit on OK now I'm going to copy an extension I use which is the Unite Gallery I'll paste that in here and then I'll move that into this layout grid and then I'll move this layout grid into this one now this is a very interesting part you have to very t take very note of how this is going to be done when I try to move this here, you realize 
the size of this now when you see the size it means this is going to be at this left section or this left column when i try to move it here and then the size changes to become something bigger like this then it means that it's going to be at the right section so this is what i want to achieve so i'm going to go ahead to release this and then it falls in here now i'm going to double click on this layout grid and i increase the padding to the top to about 10 and then the gutter is going to be 10 and then padding to the bottom is also going to be 10. i'll go ahead and then hit on ok and as you can see we have that in here so you've been able to create that is the right section let's take a look at how we are going to go about the left section also so to do that also i started with a layout grid double click on it get rid of one of the columns and then change the background um, mode to solid and then make sure i selected black for the color so i'll select i'll go ahead and click on ok and then i'm going to move this into this section so as you can see the size becomes more means it's going to fit in this column now the gutter we have in here seems to be a bit wider so let's double click on this and then decrease this a bit to about 10 let me go ahead and hit on okay so this keeps it a bit closer and then i'm going to go ahead to copy the text i'll be using for that section so let me just copy it for my final project i'll paste that in here and then i'm going to go ahead to move this into this layout grid now this isn't going to give us some padding to the top and the bottom because we haven't created that now let's double click on this change this to let's say 10 and then this is also going to be 10 i'll go ahead and then hit on ok now next is for me to bring another text in here so i'm going to go ahead and then bring a layout grid first and then i put the text in it so the layout grid is going to come here double click on it get rid of one of the columns change the padding to the top to about 10 the bottom also to 10 and then i'll go ahead and hit on ok now this is going to be in this layout grid and then i'm going to double click on this change the background mode to solid the color is going to be black and then i go ahead and I hit on ok i'm going to copy the text i'll be using for that session also so i'll paste that here and then i'm going to move that into this layout grid so as you can see we have this uh um, layout grid almost getting into shape now let me preview this so that you take a look at how or what we've done so far so as you can see we have our background here with an image with a text and then we actually have our layout actually with the two columns we have in here we have some objects to the left and then to the right now i'm going to set a border to this particular section or this layout grid in here let's take a look at how to go about that now let me minimize this and come back here now when i double click on this this particular layout grid i want to be able to have border to the left to the right and to the bottom how do i go about that so i'll come to the style and then where i have my border i'm going to click on this go to the custom section and then i hit on settings now i'm not going to set border to all the sides so i'm going to uncheck this and then increase this to one that is the bottom the right is going to be one and then left is also going to be one and then i go ahead and i change the color i want to use so let me just get a color from my final project to stay on the same page so i have the color code from my final project let me just come here go to more colors and then post that is the paste the color code in here i'll go ahead and then hit on ok as you can see i have my color code um, but that's my color looks like a bit um should i say ash or gray in there let me just go ahead and I hit on ok and then hit on ok so i have my border set let me preview this again and take a look at how that is going to be in our browser so as you can see we have our border here and this is actually looking much more better uh, we have our text to the left we have our navigation we have this space created here the layout grid and then we have our objects showing in here now what i'm going to do in the next video is to make this responsive and we take a look at how that is going to be